This is a Packard Bell 98C8 chassis uh, color TV and my friend uh, user Chris W71 wants this. He shows some interest in it. I want it out of here. So I wanted to just get it working well enough to verify that the flyback was good in this because this is basically an RCA clone even though it's got this weird chassis that hinges out it's still the design is probably licensed from RCA and um, one of the one of the doubler capacitors is completely open so I've just bridged one in there and got B plus he, he'll do the repairs on it I just want to verify that it's but now I'm not getting it appears I'm not getting any drive to the horizontal output tube and I just put my adapter in there so I could check the uh, voltages on the oscillator but let me give this a second to warm up Thing warms up you can you could hear it load the power supply down when I do that and it'll draw a nasty arc off this once it gets warmed up You can just uh, see the current there, and it would red plate that tube after a few seconds. So I'm checking to see why the oscillator is not running, and the the grid is at like one volt, and it should be negative 50. The problem with the horizontal oscillator tube was it just wasn't making good contact in the circuit so I got the pin tightened up but now it does in fact appear that the flyback is bad I will put this on and you can watch the flyback smoke So this is kind of a common failure mode for these uh, CTC 15, 16, well all these RCA flybacks is just internal arcing and um, ow it's burning hot right, right there where the smoke was coming out and the rest of it's cool. So. Yeah, right there, it's just burning hot. So I don't know what's going to happen to this set now. I, I kind of want it out of here. I need the room, and I don't know if it's worth changing the fly back on or not. I will let him watch this video and decide.